everybody and all welcome back to the blu-ray hunter on the blu-ray hunter jonathan moody and i'm here with my special guest john ward john. yes john ward there you go welcome john welcome back uh, welcome is... I, I was i was anticipating your needs <laughs> he was anticipating it for sure uh we, so to to segue into our show thank you john uh we're gonna <laughs> be doing our top 10 anticipated films of 2024 and um so uh on the last one John did his uh, or we did our least favorite uh least anticipated uh movies and John sort of made it work with what he had he had it a little bit different and everything it still worked i guess that would be sort of in order it, but it but surprisingly it actually was yeah. yeah so this this time you actually did go through them and say number they are numbered you know, yes yeah so there you go. All right. So we'll do the same thing we just did the last time, which is you go with your number 10 and then I'll start with my number 10. Okay. So number 10 would be, and I enjoyed both of these, uh, um, but I don't know why they keep making them. Uh, the strangers chapter one. So <laughs> I, 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 I remember watching the strangers and not, once again, it's a home invasion movie, and very few home invasion movies are for me. Um, I like like high tension and stuff like that, and and maybe The Purge, but like I don't know, not a huge that. So I don't know. Uh, and then I've heard I know Strangers to Pray at Night was a really good success kind of thing, you know, and a lot of people like yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's better than the first one, but if you think about it, it's it doesn't make sense. Like, like, oh, this could have been over in five minutes. No. So you kind of got to kind of, but Suspend it's well your made. disbelief. It's, yeah, it's still really good. So it's like, okay, I've liked both, even though I think they're like 10 years apart or something. And maybe this yeah. is going to be around that same thing. Well, I, I need to rewatch yeah. them because I have been getting more into home invasion movies lately. So I just, I think I just cut things out if I, if I'm not really into the subgenre. Would so, it help if this was a not a home invasion movie, but a motel invasion movie? That sounds kind of fun. And then the second one is an RV park invasion movie. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I'll definitely have to check that out at some point. Okay. So, but I did not put that on my excited, anticipated just because, well, and I didn't put it on my least anticipated because I'm just not, you know, just not, I don't care, but I'm, I, I might check it out and I'll probably will. Uh, so my number 10. You're probably going to laugh at this. It's Garfield. I know a lot of people are like, why? 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 Why is it? Why would Garfield and everything? I don't know. It just looks like a cute little kid movie. You know, I liked Garfield as a kid. <laughs> ah, whatever. Garfield and I, Friends used to be my favorite show. So the one thing that I do like about Garfield is at the end of Zombieland Double Tap. Mm -hmm. is the zombie apocalypse starts with Bill Murray doing a press conference for Garfield three. <laughs> That's the, and then he just goes around kicking everybody's ass at the studio. So it is funny that that's the film they chose for him to be talking about. And that's what the zombie apocalypse happens. Yeah. So I give Garfield that without Bill Murray doing Garfield. Movies, but this is would, like a cartoon Garfield and it's got like Chris Pratt doing the voice. And, you know. Oh, good. So it's another movie where Chris Pratt could sound like Chris Pratt and not what the character should sound like. Pretty much like Super Mario. Yeah. No, whatever. Yeah. He, he it, doesn't sound Italian at all. He just sounds like Chris Pratt. Right. And this, he doesn't really sound like the Garfield, you know, he just sounds like Chris Pratt. And it's yeah, like, whatever. You know I don't care. I don't care. I'll still watch like it because it looks the the uh, the trailer. You know, look like Garfield. Yeah. It looked fun. I don't know. I'll watch it. So that's my number ten. What's your number nine? Uh, number nine would be a trailer that I sent you that I thought looked pretty cool. Night Swim. Yeah, we talked about that. So yeah. Um. I th yeah, that's. I thought that that looked pretty good. Yeah. Um. I'll definitely check that out. It looks kind of kind of fun but i don't yeah. think once again did i not i did not put that on my there's a there's only 10 allowed so you know um well unless you're me <laughs> yeah you, you did put a couple four. honorable mentions <laughs> but um i did not you don't do have that. to do them all just like one one or two maybe um okay. my number nine is dune two um just because i saw dune one 
and it left me fucking hanging. So I'm like, let me, you know, and I never read the, I think there's a book, right? It's based off of or whatever. It's a, it's a huge series of books. Yeah. I never like read them, of them, so I don't really know. And I watched the, uh, I watched some of the David Lynch when I owned the David Lynch one on 4K. Just haven't finished it. Um, so it was a longer movie than, you know, and, but it's not this long. This is like what, five hour, 10, six hours long, something like that. Cause, uh, um, so I will, I definitely want to say, I know Joe Turk is really excited about Dune 2. Like he was so mad because they had to push it from his birthday, which was in November to, I, I guess it's going to be in March or something. So, oh, God, everything's 2023. Okay. Okay. Right, you, your turn. For um, number uh, eight. Um, A Quiet Place Day One. I, I, I like the Quiet Place movies, but I'm just not that excited about them. You know, like I'll watch well, them, but. What I like about this is, is that one, I think I might be saying his last name wrong. John Kalinsky, Korinsky, Kalinsky. That was Krasinski. Krasinski? No, you that's... pronounce them correctly. I pronounce them wrong. Okay. Um, uh, uh, and I like him as a director. Um, I like him as Jack Ryan. I mean, I just like him in general, I guess. And I love him um, in the office. The office is Jim. He's 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 great. He's he get, always gave the best looks into the camera. Yeah. And uh, so I really like that he's now become a thing. That he's like a, a known actor, and that people really wanted him to play Mister Fantastic. Oh um, yeah, he uh, when I saw him in was it uh, Doctor Strange two? I I fucking loved him in yeah, it. That, like he was. Yeah, that that's where and, people. I heard people cheered in the audience when they saw him as Mister Fantastic. And my and niece now, asked me like, pissed. why would they recast him? You know, he yeah. was perfect. Like uh, I mean, I agree. He's white. So you know. Yeah. No, that's right. They are going. They are going that way. I guess on it, but you know. yeah. Yeah. Mm. So it's and I did like a quiet place one and two. I fucking hated the children. I would have smothered the kids if that was me. I would have smothered them because they did everything wrong. And I don't know if that was written that way on purpose. You know that the mom goes, "Stay here. I'll be back in five minutes." And then the boy goes, and then he just walks off and gets into trouble. You don't seem to like children in general, like the 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 little girl and uh leave the world behind. You hated her, you know. (laughs) She acted like she was was stupid. You know, write smart (laughs) kids, and then I might like them. But it's it's. I think this is made. It's a different director, right? So I don't know if it still follows like Emily Blunt and stuff. But if it's if it's a Quiet Place Day One, which we got a little bit of in Quiet Place Two, um, it could be a different family. And, and okay. so that I'd be interested in. So plus I like the idea. So yeah, th- that's one that I would I would check out. All right. Uh, number eight for me is the movie Argyle. That looked really cool. I don't know if you've seen the tra- trailer for that. It's the movie I think Matthew Vaughn's directing it or something. Um, if I'm correct. Um, you know what I'm talking about, right? No. I don't think so. It's got it's Matthew Vaughn. Um it's got Henry Cavell, um Brian Cranston, Bryce Dallas Howard, Catherine O'Hara. Uh it's a movie it says uh an introverted spy novelist is drawn into the activities of a sinister underground syndicate. So it's it's, it's like uh Matthew Vaughn's movie like I think he did like The Gentleman if I'm correct or Kingsman I know he did. Oh he did The Kingsman. Yeah. Yeah. Um What's like? Yeah, and doesn't he work with the? Uh, he's not the one. He doesn't work with Tom Cruise, does he? No, no. Um, but no, he's he's wonderful. I love him. He used to work with um, he, you know um, if I'm correct, he he did uh was he did the X Men movies, which I liked the the uh you know first class and days of future past. Yeah, he did and, one of the kick ass films. I think the first one. First yeah, second. I think he did the first. Yeah, he did the first one. I don't think he had anything to do with the second one. Uh, he was an actor in Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, and I think he produced a lot of Guy Ritchie stuff before uh, he ended up being a director himself. So um, he is, you know, he's wonderful. And I, I like, I saw the trailer to it. And I like, I was like, this looks like a lot of fun. Like, it looks like a, a fun movie. So I'll watch it. Okay. All righty. 
Okay. Uh, so what, what are we? Seven uh, is one that was on your not anticipated list, which is Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. So, yeah, I, I, I like the character. See, I am a I did not like Mad Max Fury Road when I first saw it. It took a few viewings for me to like it because I am a Mad Max purist. I, I love the original three with Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson to me is Mad Max. Mm -hmm. And I don't give a shit what stupid shit he has said. Um, if you watch, I think it's Machete 2 where he's the villain. Robert Rodriguez purposely does Mad Max shots when he's in like a souped up car. So you, you're you looking at that going, oh my God, he could so do Mad Max again. <laughs> And and so I really wanted him in the new Mad Max movie, but I I, I mean who knows maybe nobody asked him or or he just didn't want to do it, um, and but I I it took me a while to like the new one. I didn't like that they gagged Mad Max or Max that they put the thing on his mouth all the whole time, so he didn't have any fucking dialogue. Right. But um, I mean I I liked the character of of Furios. I thought that she was fine, and um. I'm guessing the whole reason why it's made is because of the legal problems with Mad Max. So that the, of who owns it and how long it took him. I mean, shit, it took him like 15 years to make Fury Road. I have a story about that, too. He was supposed to do it earlier than that. Uh, or not Fury Road. He was going to do another Mad Max movie. Um, and uh, Matthew Ewald, who's a friend of mine, actually auditioned for it and got a role in it. He had got a really good role in it. And uh, they were got all the way up to him getting uh, getting suited for the for the part, like wardrobe and everything, and picking it all out. And then it lost money. Like they, the investors pulled out, and they weren't able to make it. So, um, so that was sad because he was yeah. really excited because he loves Mad Max. I love Mad Max. Like I love the first three movies with um, you know, with Mel Gibson. I. I, I liked the beautifulness and I mean I would probably buy Fury Road just for the shots and the on 4K like oh, I guarantee that looks yeah, so 4K, fucking beautiful. It's it's going to look amazing and, right. and that a lot of it's but practical. I just, I just and it looks great in black and white because they yeah. did a black and white version of it too. I just can't care. I just don't. Eh. It's because I, I'm I'm betting you it's because he just can't get the because it's supposed to be was it Mad Max the Wasteland was gonna I just didn't like one. I didn't like Furiosa. I just didn't like her character. Didn't like her look. Well, didn't like her character. I'll just... I'll take it. You know, if, if it's what we're gonna get, I'll take it. And 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 I don't mind whatever. You know, we we've already had four Mad Even... Max movies, and and we're not gonna get Mel Gibson again. And I used to be obsessed with mel gibson he was the guy i even had my head uh, uh it was my hair was cut like road warrior and mm -hmm. i would put the gel in it and i had a white streak that went all the way back like he had a road warrior my mom was a beautician so she put this white streak in my hair i was obsessed with him i saw every single thing that he made i was just obsessed with him all the way up until when he became racist <laughs> you know and then uh and then it's like, yeah, I don't know anymore. I don't know but, if I can't. I should be obsessed with them after that. But, yeah, yeah, I don't think that's the type of guy to, that you want to be obsessed with. But I, I don't know. I'll, I'll see. But it. Now I you're mean, obsessed with Tom Cruise in the cage. So there you go. Yes. Um, and they never let you down. Not normally. Um, no. So my number seven is similar to your thing, where it's something that you said is your least anticipated, one of your least anticipated, and it's more what I'm actually anticipated for, which is Joker 2. Um, I know you are you just don't want to see a musical version of Joker and stuff like that, and I think um, I think a lot of they did that because Lady Gaga is playing uh, Harley Quinn, which I think is just a, to me, it's just a gimmick in a way. Like, it's not... I don't know. Margot Robbie, I think, is like one of the best fucking Harley Quinns I've ever seen. Like, I don't know. She does a good job. Yeah, she does. Yeah, a I don't job. think I could ever see a different person playing her right now in the like movies. Um, but I will give it a chance, and I'm I'm very kind of excited about it. the Mad Max one. I'll probably still watch. I'll just wait for it to be streaming and see how it is, or at least wait till I hear hear people talk about it and everything. So. You know, um, but yeah, and and I I have nothing against Lady Gaga. I mean, I'm a big fan of A Star Is Born. I thought she was great in that, and and I thought Bradley Cooper got totally screwed at the Academy Awards 
Um, and that's a musical. And, and I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, I think a lot of it to... has to do with that. Like, I think that's why they went the musical route because they brought yeah, her I, in. I, I just, I think she was an, probably brought in later. I just really think it was their way of just saying, screw you. Maybe. I, I just, we'll I see. Just, I mean, it, 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 it's it, kind I... of like Rob Zombie with Halloween, too. You know, they're like, well, dude, we're going to make it with you or without you. And he's like, fuck, I might as well just do it. And then, and so he did it. And, you know, I don't know. I can't say, but we'll I'm still anticipating it. So okay. that's my number seven, right? My number seven. So what's your number six? Um, I had no idea this was made. Absolutely no idea at all. I thought the trailer was a fan trailer or a trailer for a fan film until I saw that it said official trailer. I'm like, what, is this real? And it's Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. I thought it was fake. Oh, you didn't know they made one? They, they, I've been Absolutely. following the Ghostbusters stuff for a while. So, No, no. Same thing with like Creed 3. It is oh they're gonna make it i know they are they've, they've said they are and then the next thing i know like in january they're like oh yeah the film's made it's coming out in a couple <laughs> months it's like what the f what you know so yeah i mean i thought the trailer looked pretty good yeah i was excited for it you know um, it's on my list so okay yep yeah, that's that's my number six my number six is a movie called borderlands uh directed by eli roth so yeah, eli roth has been killing it um lately uh everybody's been talking about um uh thanks thanks kill uh thanks i keep saying thanks killing but i mean thanksgiving you know um yeah thanks killing uh, is the turkey yeah well i think it's I, just, I, we I thought thanks recently. i'm glad thanksgiving and i'd have to look but i'm, I'm glad it made money i heard there are that they are going to do part two but kind of like blue beetle it was meh it it didn't add anything new to the slasher series. Well, it's, it's the same thing we've seen a billion times. And even that scene in the trailer that makes you go, "Oh, when the girl on the trampoline goes straight down on the on the knife, barely in it." Like it, it's it's like, "No, that should have been the scene. That's that's the scene that we should have spent all the, the have all the suspense for and all that." And it just wasn't. It was just she bounces and it's done. Oh, well, like, well, the, mov let down. the movie's about uh, is based on the popular video game set in an abandoned fictional planet of Pandora, where people search for a mysterious oh. relic. It's and, in the same uh, world as Avatar. Sounds like it. I thought Pandora was <laughs> Avatar. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, it stars Jack Black, Kate Blanchett, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Hart. I mean, it's just got a crazy ass cast, and I'm like. Good for Eli, you know, because like he worked with like Keanu in Knock Knock, and a lot of people hate on that movie. Um, I I like it. I don't love it. I think it's a it, it's enjoyable enough. Um, but I I really I I just want I I'm just a fan of Eli Roth. Like I think he's he's a horror lover. And he deserves to continue to keep making movies, you know, that he's enjoying. I'm not a big fan of the Death Wish movie. I thought it wasn't that great, but I think if he really, you know, if he's really his high head's really into everything, he's gonna make something really fun. So I haven't seen Thanksgiving yet, but um I definitely <clears throat> I definitely want to. Um I'm definitely gonna own it on 4K when it comes out. So That'll be my first Eli Roth 4K, I think, because I don't think anything else has really come out on 4K. I don't think like Hostel or Cabin Fever has come out on 4K yet. You know, Eli, get on it. Go make those, put those on 4K mm -hmm. or the studios at least. Lionsgate. Hmm. Okay. There you go. Anyway, uh, what's your number six or five? Five. Uh, five would be Dune 2. Dune 2. Sweet. I love that director. I loved, uh, um, you know, like uh, um, Arrival. I absolutely love Arrival and uh, his some of his other films that he's made. I think that he's very kind of overlooked. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Blade Runner. I think he did a great job yeah, he with, did, with uh, that. Did, did, is it Dennis or Denise? Yeah, it's like Dennis. Yeah, yeah like did like Dennis De, Denou. Yeah, something, something like that. Like that. Uh, yeah, I think it's French, but it's it's yeah. I'm I'm really looking forward to doing two. 
I I am a fan of the David Lynch one because I like that it's all practical. Well, in this, you know, like the worms are all CGI. Um, and uh, I want to own, I think it is available because there is one called Dune the Extended Cut, but it still says directed by, on the box, it says directed by David Lynch. And that's the TV version that he disowns. But I don't know if the extended version with his name on it is that. But I know that I think there's a, a DVD out there that has the theater version and the TV version on it. I hated the TV movies. I thought they were awful. So Children of Dune, which like combines two books and then Dune. I just didn't. It just looked like cheap sci-fi channel garbage stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just didn't care. But I, I am looking forward to part two. So I hope it continues. All right. My number five is Beetlejuice 2. Okay. Um, I'm... I I I love Tim Burton. I always have. Um, I think he's <clears throat> got things like you know some of the stuff he's not, you know. But I I think this was something that like he was excited to do, and uh, and we and we've got most of the cast back. The only people we don't have back are two of the actors who are just completely canceled right now, which is Alec Baldwin and. Um, uh, Jeffrey Jones, I don't, you know, they're not coming back, but the rest of the cast seem to be coming back from the original. And, uh, uh, well, maybe, I don't know if Gina Davis is, you know, if, um, uh, uh, not if, original, if, but uh, we do have, you know, Jennifer Ortega. So that's, yeah, Jenna that's Ortega good. taking over, Ortega. Uh, but, um, Jennifer. she's with, uh, she's going to be with, um, uh, Christina Ricci. So they are bringing, I think they're bringing back Lydia, you know? So I'm, I'm really excited. Like it, it looks really fun. And I'm, I, you know, the, the stills and the pictures, and I can't wait for trailers to come out and, and it to be a big thing. So I'm excited about it. It was on my list, but I crossed it out to try to get it as close to 10 as possible. But it was okay. on my list. Yeah. There you go. Uh, um, so what am I, uh, four? Mm, yeah, I guess four. Yeah, four. Okay, and that would be uh, Godzilla, X-Kong, The New Empire. So That's funny, because you said that like that's that was one that was on my list of at least anticipated. And you also mentioned Civil War as least anticipated, right? Yeah, but it, it's anticipated, but at least at the same, it, it all depends on, on how they do the movie. Okay, so. well, that's number uh, four for me is Civil War. So, but the uh, the Godzilla one is I'm I've been a Godzilla fan since I was a kid. I love Godzilla. I've seen every Godzilla. I haven't seen the new Godzilla, but I've seen everyone up to that. And uh, the uh, I'm glad it didn't kill the the franchise. Was the Roland Emmerich Godzilla, which is just fucking awful. That shouldn't even be called Godzilla. And um, if you watch uh, Toho's Godzilla Final Wars. Godzilla mm -hmm. fights every monster and he does fight that Godzilla, but they call him Zilla because the <laughs> Japanese refuse to call it Godzilla. And it's the shortest segment out of the entire movie because he kills Godzilla kills uh, Zilla in like 10 seconds. Just <laughs> destroys like, we it. don't want any remembrance of this movie. <laughs> Get rid yeah. Of it. Yeah. It, it's like we acknowledge that it's made, but yeah, he, Godzilla's just going to kill it. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the new one. I'm uh, uh, they got back one of the directors for it, which uh, I think is the Blair Witch guy. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, he did like your Weingard. next and Adam, Adam, um, Adam Weingard. Yeah, I yeah. I look and, you know, he's a horror guy like he did, you know, and he started and uh, for the longest time he was on my like friends list on Facebook, I think, you know, and stuff like that. But then he blew up and now he's he's not but uh uh it, it it's so funny because he's uh somebody i i look forward to if he were doing a horror like horror horror i don't consider godzilla horror i consider that like action but uh um you know m maybe sci-fi elements to it or whatever but yeah it's like action action sci-fi sci fantasy uh um yeah, it, yeah, it's because there's all that stuff in there because there's like Mecha Godzilla and, but yeah, yeah, I, I've enjoyed. We've we've Godzilla talked movie. about this. Uh, Adam Wingard is going to possibly be doing um, other stuff like uh, Thundercats and and other sh movies potentially. 
uh, including Face Off Two, if that ever happens. Uh, but that's if I I hope that does not. So uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of people actually hope that doesn't. But yeah. it, it it's all John Travolta. Uh, Nick Cage still looks great. He looks like Nick Cage, but Travolta just he just does not look good. I, I I think that he'd have to do something major to be able to pull off an action movie like that. Yeah. Because how, how, how there's no way if they do the face swapping, like again, that you can even come close to say they're the same guys. No way. Right. Well, like I said, my number four is civil war, which you, yeah. Uh, you're not that into, you know, that, that excited about, but, uh, um, or you're kind of like worried about it and stuff. And I, me, I am, ex- yeah, I'm excited because I, I, the Civil War thing has been brought up many times, especially with the right and uh, with like Marjorie Taylor Greene saying that the red state should succeed, which is really fucking stupid. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I am, I, I am, I just, I just, I'm worried about how they're going to go about it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited about it. I, I, when she showed me that trailer, I was like, okay, I'm in. Son of a bitch, I'm in. So. Son of a bitch. All right, you're number three. Terrifier 3. I haven't seen Terrifier 2 yet, so I could not put it on my list. But I can't, I didn't put it on my list on least anticipated because I, I've i seen Terrifier 1 and I've seen, uh, what is it, the, the original anthology you know, and stuff, all Hollow's Eve or whatever. So I, I, I'm, I'm, and I'm a fan of, um, David Howard Thornton, the guy who plays, um, the clown. Art the clown. Yeah. Art the he clown. also plays the Grinch in the mean one. Yeah. I love him. I think he's great. Um, I think he's very funny. And I think he's, you know, um, you know, he's very vocal about his positions and po- political you know, things and whatnot. And, um, but I just haven't seen part two. So I will, I, I will probably see part two, then see part three. It, it's, it's, I guess there is now a new camp out there of Terrifier fans that ignore you. And I'm, I'm in that group that where other movies you can debate if they're good or bad, but I, but there's now this group that I've heard that, that I fall into with the, with the two terrifier films where it's, you could say, Oh, terrifier two is too long. Don't care. Well, but did it, don't care. And that it's just, that's how it is. These are terrifier movies. They're awesome. You're not going to say anything bad about them. I'm not going to hear it. Terrifier two was freaking awesome. I don't care about its length. Love the ending. Uh, uh, they're crazy films, and I shut you down. I I, I reject your hypothesis. That's right. this camp that's out there now, from what I understand. When's the new uh, Tarantino movie coming out? That's not twenty twenty four, is it? I have no idea there was even making a new movie. Yeah, the movie critic is what it's called. So I don't oh, know. Okay. Uh, yeah. So awesome. Um. Uh, Terrifier three was your number three. That's yep. cool. My number three is If, the imaginary friend movie. That's okay. Ryan Reynolds. I saw the trailer to that. And I just laughed my ass off. Um, I never had an imaginary friend, as far as I remember. You know, uh, but I do. Re- I do love movies like Little Monsters and and movies that have like imaginary friends or. Or boogeyman or whatever you know monster you know things like that and so I'm kind of excited to see see this and I honestly I I adore you know I I adore Ryan Reynolds like I think he's a really really good dude so um I'm I'm excited for it so no, you're number two well and 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 Ryan Reynolds I love that he's fighting Disney well you know for he's trying for <laughs> yeah. So I, I I like that. So yeah, um so yeah. So we'll see what happens with Deadpool three. Um, uh, number two is uh, Saw eleven. That's coming out next year. Yeah, they're they're already doing it. Wow, cool. Um, I did not know, but uh, I I would have thought they would have given it another year, but uh, because didn't that just come out this year? Yeah, but that's how they used to do the saws. It was if it was a yearly event. Yeah. Yeah, they would say if it's Halloween, it must be Saw. 
and every year was a new saw. No, that's like, um, you know, Dustin Hubbard used to say he used to get excited for April and for like Ju July or uh, August or whatever it was, where uh, in April there would be a new Evil Bong movie, and in oh, God. like July there would be a new Sharknado, you know, or July or August or whatever it was. There would be a new, you know, Shark Week. There would be a new, you know, oh, Sharknado. Oh, I, I did that with Resident Evil because they right. all came out around the same time and then part part three or part part four yeah part four i think came out on my birthday nice and they happened to have when i went there they had the little posters and stuff and, and so i still have it framed in in my bedroom and mila 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 holovich released <laughs> the movie on my birthday so i was very happy about that oh there you go she did just for you Buddy. She did. She did. And I heard she's they're making a new one with her, from what I understand. All right. So what was that? What did we what were we just talking about? Uh we just did uh I just said saw 11, oh, saw eleven. Number two. And that's number two. So my number two is actually another Ryan Reynolds movie, is Deadpool Three. I know we've talked about this and uh I am anticipating it. Um uh like I'm, ex I, I, I think if it goes the way I'm hoping, uh, it'll it'll be a good movie. If it doesn't, you know, go the way I I will probably not be uh ex that excited over it. If I hear what I think I'm gonna hear, but I'm probably gonna go see it. It's the uh regardless, like just because I love Deadpool and uh, if this is. Disney's Deadpool and it just doesn't work out. And we've heard what they want to do to it. I we'll see. We'll see if yeah. that's true. A lot of that stuff, like I hate to say it, there are people on YouTube that I I don't know who their sources are. And of course they can't reveal their sources. So they talk about these things as if like these are things that are are happening that we don't know. Like there's that guy, Mike Zero. And he talks all the time about this is what's going to happen. This is what's happening. This is, you know, him, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I go and I look everything up and I don't see any source online about this stuff except from him. You know, literally, if I look that stuff up, everything is his videos. And I'm like, is he just starting rumors? Like, is this real? Um, and I guess we won't find out till more things come out from stuff, you know? So, yeah, we'll see. So anyway, number uh, your number two or number one. I actually, uh, your yeah, your uh, we'll do the uh, uh, the honorary and then we'll do honorable that. mentions. Uh, honorable mentions would be it's one of the two. I uh, Transformers one or Alien Rom 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 Uless. I don't know which one would be, but I more got, uh, and more anticipated for. Yeah, yeah, because I like all the Transformers movies. I own them all. Um, and then, of course, a new Alien movie is always exciting. But it's, uh, I heard it has nothing to do. It's like a standalone. Okay. So, but which is fine because you can always find the eggs on other planets and stuff. So it doesn't, Ripley doesn't need to be in every movie. Right. So, um, so those are the, the two honorary. Uh, my number one is one that you just don't care about. You just do not care about, sir. You don't. You've made that very clear. And that is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I had a feeling that they'll be like your number, number one. one. Number one. Number one. And you do care. Like this I you care, care about. You know. And you are a fan from the very beginning of the stuff. And you I love grew up everything. watching them on te television and shit. I just never did. You know. And Yeah, they they I mean I've watched of course I've never until I mean, later when, when they were at, you know, the movie theaters that would play old movies, then I saw some of them on the big screen. But it wasn't until Tim Burton that I actually saw like a new Planet of the Apes on the screen. But I haven't missed one. And right. I own all of them on the originals on Blu-ray. I got the Tim Burton. Then I got the the three new ones. And I got the uh, the TV series, the complete TV series. And I got the complete animated series. Hmm. So it, it it's... I normally, because I do things in, in 
genres. So like Chucky would be my all time favorite slasher series because I don't think there's a bad one. This would probably be my favorite science fiction series would be Planet of the Apes. Because you don't think there's a bad one. Right. I've read the book and, and all of that. So it, it's which is very different from the right. From the, so um, it actually follows more of the ending of Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes. The Abraham Lincoln. Yes. I fucking love that. I, I don't care what people say. I like that movie. I, I like Did you know movie. that was in a uh, clerk's cart, like clerk's comic? Before... Yeah, Kevin Kevin Smith brought that up in in an evening with Kevin Smith. Yeah, that, that he feels that Tim Burton ripped him off. But I don't think he ripped him off. I really don't think so. I think they just. I think just the idea of Abraham Lincoln was just a joke thing that they said would actually just work for the movie. So I don't think he ripped him off. I think he just. I really wanted. They the both happen to, to have the same idea. But you I know, who knows? never got the sequel. Wanted that sequel. Yeah, because the I, sequel, I the sequel would well. be the book. No, it did not, and uh, um, the sequel would have been the book. Would have been much more like the book, because in the books, the apes live in houses and buildings, and they're doctors and cab drivers, and they're they're. It's just a regular society, you right? Know, it's just it's humans, they're apes. But it was only because of production problems that you know money that they had to change it for the movie. So. so- I have the box set that it has the original movies <laughs> and then, and I love it. It's actually a really good box set and I, I, I adore it, but, uh, and then I have the, um, the Tim Burton one as a Blu-ray. And then I think as a, uh, 4k, I think I have war of the planet of the apes or whatever. One of them, you know, I think it's war. Um, so I have like I do have the movies and and stuff. I just they're just not something like you know that gets me excited. And I'm glad they get you excited because obviously people can still keep making. You them. should feel my nipples. That's how excited I, know. I am. I am sure. Well, and, and and I'm interested in what they're going to do with Kingdom because it's 300 years after War. And I'm um, I'm interested to hear what they do because now it's Disney. So, it owns yeah. Fox. So who knows? the The good thing is on the I don't know if they're on the DVDs, but on the on the uh, the originals for the Blu rays that's in that box set for Conquest has the original ending, where basically Caesar kills all the humans, right? And and uh, they tested it, and it was way too dark because it's technically a kids movie, and they they changed it. You could tell that they. ADR'd his voice of saying, no, we can now all live together and you know, man and ape will be side by side and then that's where we get battle. But in the original, all the humans die. <laughs> Dang. All right. All right, um, you're number one. I'm my, done. My number one here, folks, um, is Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Oh, okay. um, unlike you, I knew this was coming for a while. Um, I've been following along with uh, with with the Ghostbusters stuff. I've been going to the YouTube channels and the, the websites and, and and different stuff. Um, it, you know, after Afterlife, I just was like, I'm just excited. Um, I think the franchise is is getting this big, you know, resurgence, and um, I I feel and I'm so glad that they brought back. Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd and um and and Ernie Hudson again like I, and I think Annie Potts and, and other people are in it. Um, the only person I'm not excited about um that's in it um crap what was his name um uh there's 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 like one or two people that I'm just like why are they in this movie except for you know um uh, whoa. This is Walter Peck is going to be in this too. <laughs> They're bringing back the uh, old school um, people. So, uh, oh yeah, uh, Kamal uh, from uh, the Big Sick, that guy um, who was in like the Eternals, and I think that's how you say his name, Kamal, Kamal, uh, Nan, Nan Jahani. He was in. Um, uh, you know, he was in the big. You've seen the big sick, right? It's actually a yeah, pretty good I, movie. 
But I, I think I, but I have no idea who you're talking about. He's the main guy. The main guy from it. Anyway, he's Indian. He was in, um, he was in uh, the Eternals as the 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 actor. I don't know if you watched the Eternals or not, but no, no, no. He was one of those guys. So, um, no. I just I I'm not really excited about. I I think he. I, it was like, why is he in this? He doesn't unless he asked to be in it because he's a um fan or something. Uh, uh. The only other thing, also, I don't. From the from Afterlife, I'm not a big fan of the dude from Stranger Things anymore. Like, I'm just over him. He's in I'm, every I'm fucking thing. I'm kind of tired of all of them, right? And, and especially with what I've heard with the new season, which is like a waste of time. But it's uh, with how short it is. But yeah, when when I see all of them in movies now, I'm and and that includes the Godzilla stuff. Mm. Uh, um, I'm just kind of like Ugh. that was another thing. Is why I didn't like the I I didn't like one of the Godzillas. Forgot which one it was. That the girl. Um, Brown. six or eleven or 11. she she's in a couple of them. She's in like two of them. Yeah, yeah. She, I, she's okay, but it, it's I don't know. Maybe because they were so overexposed that it's just like, okay, so do we need somebody from Stranger Things to be in a Godzilla? Do we need somebody from Stranger Things to be in a Ghostbusters? It's like eh, it was nah. cool, like because I went to a uh, Texas Frightmare weekend once and i saw all the like a bunch of the stranger uh stranger things people except those two i think the girl who played 11 and finn were not there and all the other ones were there and i was like wait so all the other ones are signing the ones that probably nobody really you know like yeah because they probably cost too much money to bring out there plus i've heard that she's difficult now to work with uh, I heard that, that, got that a long head. time ago too. So I, I'm not, I don't, don't care. Like, um, I, uh, I, I will, I honestly liked, uh, Afterlife having where he, even though he was like one of the leads, Finn was he wasn't the, uh, you know, he wasn't the main person that you see all the time. You know, I, I. I don't think it would stop me from seeing something if they're in it. I just don't care. And when I see right. them, I kind of go like, Ugh. but like, I, I do want to see the turning and Finn's in the turning. I think you and I had talked about that reviewing that at some point, because it was had something to do with the James Wan people, or, or I think it was, right. but, um, but it was kind of like, eh, really? So it, it's, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm not excited about Ghostbusters because they're in it. I'm excited because it's Ghostbusters. I'm excited because it's Ghostbusters. And, and, I'm and, it's, and the it's the star. second movie. And still Ghostbusters 2016 is just, is just like non-existent. Talk about a movie you should just delete. <laughs> well, as long as Sony owns this, right? And Sony doesn't go... Let's put those guys into the, the this universe and everything. And... I, I don't. Well, first I, I say this, but then there's Cobra Kai. But um, when they released that massive box set, mm -hmm. 2016 wasn't in it. And the the uh, uh, some of the, the women and, of course, uh, the director had a hissy fit. So they added in a digital code. So they do not consider the 2016 Ghostbusters to be canon. They don't consider it to be part of the series. I, you know, honestly, when I watched the 2016 originally, I remember like the beginning of the movie. I was like, I don't know why everybody's hating on this. This is kind of funny. And then it just went like to a place where I was just like, I'm done. Like, I don't, I don't. Like There's this, comparison you know? videos where of the opening scene of the original, you know, with the, the librarian and mm -hmm. the opening scene with the guy giving the tour and of pointing out, this is good writing. This is bad writing. And how long it took for the 2016 one for the ghost to come up to him compared to the librarian. And, and it's like, yeah, this is just garbage. This is just, it's just, it's just a bad movie. And I watched it twice. I, I did. I did watch the, the theatrical cut. And then when they released it again and it was extended, um, I did watch it saying, okay, let me give it a second chance and disliked it even more. Bill Murray even hates it. And he was forced to do it because he was going to get sued. I thought he kept like, I mean, maybe this was 
what he was forced to do, but I thought he was saying all these great things about it and how much he was. Because he was forced to do it. He was under yeah. contract. He was, they said that they basically would blacklist him if he didn't go on the talk shows, if he didn't start, if you notice in the movie, he just sits in a chair. Right. He doesn't even walk around. He just sits in a chair. Um, yeah, he didn't want to do it at all. I don't even know if the other people really wanted to do it, but I mean, you know, money is money. Yeah. And it was going to be a big, big thing no matter what. Like it was, you know, so. yeah. I, I, um, I cannot name one good thing from that movie, not one. But I am excited about Frozen Empire. Um, from, yes. But I, what I liked from the trailers, it looked like it was not like everything else. Like it's, it, it feels like a different type of of uh thing and um i'm really excited like the idea of like what if everything was just frozen you know the whole world got frozen and people are freezing to death and that just sounds fun to me like for for a movie that's idea. why i almost thought it was like a fan thing because i'm just like this doesn't look like a ghostbusters movie and then i saw yeah the kids you know that were from the from afterlife i'm like wait a minute and then you get those quick shots of the original guys. It's like, oh, this is a real movie. They actually made this. I had no idea. But it doesn't oh. feel like a Ghostbusters movie, which I like. Yeah. So I'm it's excited about trip. it. I know you're excited about it. And so this is our these are our most anticipated. I mean, this might not be what you guys are most anticipated for. You guys might have picked ones that are on our least, you know, anticipated ones that you're excited about. Because like the beauty of film is that everything's so subjective subjectable you know what i like and what you like you know another person may not or may love you know we don't know um so let us know what your most anticipated is um and let us know below and uh well yeah i'm excited about this i can't wait to hear what other people's thoughts are <laughs> on it so um but until then, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, we'll be back. Uh, well, yeah, we'll probably be back for some more Blu-ray Hunter stuff this year, this coming year uh, in 2024. I got uh, my but stack rolling. But we also do, uh, yeah, we do a review. It was we do a haul videos and we also do horror film lovers. So we're always busy doing something, you know, and you come on Indie Film Cafe and in give reviews that piss off Paul. Uh, <laughs> uh, he still talks about, about that him. all the time. Oh my God. He can't stop it. So uh, there you go. Uh, but until then, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this and let us know what you guys think until then. Uh, have a happy new year, everybody. It's almost bye, 2024. Bye. Bye. bye.